Hi, my name is Jake Hendy. I'm arborist with Smithsonian Gardens. At Smithsonian Gardens, our trees are a living collection of the Smithsonian. One collection's care challenge we have is the case of the crepe myrtle tree and its associated new invasive exotic insect pest, crepe myrtle bark scale. Crepe myrtle bark scale is a sucking insect pest that in addition to impacting tree health, also excretes a sticky gooey honeydew that then transitions to an unattractive black sooty mold up and down the tree, its adjacent vegetation, and adjacent surfaces. As a new insect pest, very little is known about it. At Smithsonian Gardens, we have established a simple monitoring protocol to understand more about the life cycle of this insect pest and effectiveness of various treatments with lower environmental and labor costs. The protocol is the following. We select a control group of trees, as well as multiple treatment group of trees. Once we select them, we continue with the analysis. First, we utilize double-sided tape and place it on several branches of the control group. After we place them, we remove the previous segments of tape. This process occurs in two-week data collection intervals. These great myrtle trees can be found in the following locations at our facilities. The Enid A. Hopped Garden, the Pollinator Garden, and the landscape surrounding the National Museum of American History. After each singular tape is removed, we proceed to file it into a specific report for further analysis. As you can see, we have a square inch box at the beginning of each segment of the tape to come up with an average number of crepe myrtle bar scale, if any. Then, we look at the entirety of the tape on the microscope to look for presence of the insects. Finally, we input the information into a spreadsheet in order to maintain data collection, create further data analysis, and then devise a plan to tackle the insect pest. In addition to helping preserve our collection, doing science like this will help inform how crepe myrtle trees and urban trees everywhere are managed in the most environmentally conscientious way possible.